I'm Missy Lavender. I'm the founder and executive director of Women's Health Foundation, a nonprofit organization based in Chicago. Our space, very simply, is things below the belt. So we create programs based in research that get women knowledgeable about what is below the belt? What are the organs? What are the functions? What are the life stages that affect you as you age gracefully throughout your life? And what we want to do is create a digital platform around our most recent research subject, girls. Girls 10 to 14. In 2011, we were fortunate to do a study on high school girls here in Chicago, a simple pelvic health education program that validated something we've known for a long time. Girls by the age of 14 have basically taken their pelvises and pushed them over here somewhere on the side. They know that they have to deal with them once a month. It's that icky place that mother nature shows up and I have to deal with. But what's interesting is they actually know very little about their bodies below the belt. Beyond their periods to things like bladder health or bowel health. And the problem is what we showed in our study at that young age of 14 or 15 they were already experiencing, up to 50% of them were already experiencing chronic health conditions below the belt. We'd hear things like, of course I leak when I giggle, doesn't everybody? Or, oh my gosh, gotta go, gotta go, I'm always running to the bathroom. Or I have chronic constipation or pelvic pain. And when we watched their behaviors and we understood what they'd been told by their grown-ups, it made perfect sense. So when we saw those results, we decided we had to, first of all, write a book for girls younger. So last year we published this fantastic book, Below Your Belt. Below Your Belt is filled with amazing illustrations and fun facts to know for both the girls ages 10 to 14 and their grown-ups who might possibly read it to them. But if we really want to get to a little girl and teach her about her body, we clearly have to get it in front of her on a four inch screen. So we want to take this intellectual property and create an app something that she can use, or her health educator can use, or her grown-up can use, to help her understand what's going on for her below the belt. Why should you care about this project? So, first of all, every girl in America needs this information. This is not available in any health education curriculum. The reason we want to do this app is really important. There, this is the missing part about health education right now. No matter where you're learning about your body below the belt, whether it's in school or from your grown-up or from your church or your community center, you are not fully understanding your body. You may get a little reproductive health, but what we were finding with our girls is they really didn't understand why or how they were having a period, let alone things about their bladder health or their bowel health. And we were seeing them make strategic decisions about how to use their body during the day that put them at really, really severe risk for having chronic issues below the belt. We all know girls are our future, and we know that we need to start young if we're gonna prevent pelvic health disorders later in life. Of course, it's gonna start with her period and help her understand this hormonal journey, this wonderful thing that happens to her magically every month. But then we're also gonna sneak in through some games and experiences Things like bladder health. She might take a segue down Poopville or Peeville and learn some things by playing something fun that could help her change her behaviors and her attitudes about her body from a very young age. We need to drive science in the community by reaching out to real women and real girls where they are. So that's what we've built at Women's Health Foundation is a community-based organization based in science to get women and girls knowledgeable about their bodies. In fact, we have the only published girls' pelvic health study in the country. We're looking to raise $50,000 for this app. We want to create a prototype. We have girls around the country already identified that are willing to be our test subjects to do some user experience testing with this prototype. From their feedback and from this user experience and user interaction, we're then going to create a minimally viable product that we can take to market. And from that, we're gonna be constantly testing the interaction and the usability and the function and the feedback from real girls, both girls in the community, girls in schools, as well as their grown-ups. We wanna know how this tool is helpful to health educators. We wanna know how this tool is helpful to a mom or a dad who's trying to talk to their daughter and failing because they don't know this stuff either. So that's our budget and that's what we're trying to accomplish. Thank you so much for listening today. Thank you for coming to iFund Women. We are so excited to have your support. Help us change the world, one pelvic floor at a time.